Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel today for a clothing review of Bare Knuckles. If you are new here to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and come and follow me over on Instagram too. If you don't know what Bare Knuckles is, it's a clothing brand from Portland in the US. It's from two guys, Jacob Keller and Cole McBad. Um, Jacob used to do uh, YouTube videos on fashion. He's one of the reasons that I got into doing YouTube. Like, this is the second collection of Bare Knuckles and the first one was so, so good and I missed out on it completely. So I made sure that I was in there straight away on this second collection because the pieces are so, so nice. Um, and the fact that like Jacob kind of came from YouTube kind of made me want to support it even more. I will leave a link to everything in the description box below. I think it dropped at like 8 p.m. on a Sunday in the UK and I was literally like first on the site and I had loads of stuff in my basket and as I was trying to check out, the stuff kept going out of stock. So it was actually really difficult to get a hold of the actual pieces that I wanted. Um, I managed to get quite a few pieces that I wanted, but not everything. I'm just gonna give you my kind of honest opinion. I'm gonna try it all on over there as well and take you through each piece. The whole collection has a really distinct style and I think it stays true to like Jacob's personal style. So the first piece that I picked up are the tactical cargo pants. Um, now, I got these, I can't remember which size I got in these. I got these in a medium. What I really appreciated was that Jacob put like, on the highlights of their Instagram, like all the sizing for each piece before they were released as well. So people knew what to kind of add to their basket. These are the tactical cargo pants. So they're like contrast stitch cargo pants with like loads of pockets all over them. I have had a few questions. I've worn these a couple of times and have had a few questions as if my pants were on the wrong way around but they're on the right way around, believe me. It's just that it has pockets everywhere that just can get a bit confusing. Yeah, so I got these in a medium, um, and I'm usually a 32, 30 to 32 waist, but they're elastic, so I thought I could even maybe get a small in these, but medium is pretty good. And these were $350. So the thing is, like, the, the brand isn't necessarily super affordable, um, but the pieces are really well made, and I understand that when you have a really small brand and you want to make high quality pieces, that price is going to be high. It's hard to kind of avoid that. Okay, so this is the tactical cargo pants on and honestly, I love these pants so much. I think they fit really nicely. They're very comfortable. They have pocket each on the ass, pockets on the sides and pockets on the front and they're all Velcro, they're all usable pockets. I don't know why it has one belt loop here, but I'm here for it. It just, yeah, feels really comfy. So I'm very, very happy with these. Next up, I went for a pair of the clay washed denim. Um, and I was seriously looking forward to this so much because I really, really want a nice pair of like slimmer white, off-white kind of denim. Um, and this looked perfect, like online they fit so nicely, they look so good on the model. I was like, oh, these are gonna be amazing. Um, and then it came to putting them in my basket and I wanted a 32, but they only had 30 left. And I was like, do you know what? Sometimes 30 waist is fine. Um, but they are $275 as well. Um, but you'll you'll see what they look like on. <laughs> okay, get ready for this because it's already it already looks bad. Like I don't know whether it's because I got a size down, but I feel like even a size down in the waist shouldn't affect everything that much because the way I think my thighs are too big for these jeans because the way that it looks on the model um, and the way that it's looking on me, like I think I'm too tall. These are too cropped and they're too tight for my legs. Even if I went one size up, I still think I'd have the same problem. And the buttons seem to be kind of pulling in this direction too because my thighs are so thick and juicy. Um, but it's got really nice details like the leather patch on the back of the denim and then each button has like BK um, on it too in the same font that the earring is kind of in. Again, the distressing, the clay wash, which makes it look a bit dirty, I really, really like. It's just the actual shape and look of them looks so bad on me. Um, so these ones are not for me. Next up, uh, this is the first time they've done some kind of jewelry with the pieces and I love the look of the dangle earring. Um, it's $70 and it's really small, but it's really, really nice. And it's a little nice detail to put, like to finish an outfit off. I actually really want to get this ear pierced because I have a gauge, a flesh hole, a tunnel, whatever you want to call it on this side. Um, and I can, I've been looping it through there, I'm just leaving it dangling, but I think I want to get this one pierced to like put the actual earring through properly and not have like loads of other metal on my ear. Um, but I really like this. I think it's a really nice touch, add some jewelry to the collection. And it's in this like, it says BK, it's obviously bare knuckles and in this really nice kind of gothic font as well, which is awesome. So the 
BK earring. I'm not sure if this is actually in focus too much. Um, and if you want to see it in my ear, you want it to be like BK like that. Yeah, no, that's that's right. Wow, Joel, well done. Yeah, so that's what it look like looks like in with my tunnel. But obviously, I want to get this one pierced so that it can just hang there. And finally, I picked up the mesh tactical vest. Um, so this is kind of like a matching piece to the tactical cargo pants. Um, but this is a mesh kind of, if it's like a foamy kind of mesh, I don't know the word to describe it. Um, this is $190 and they still have this left in small slash medium online. I think this is the large version though. Um, so you've got four pockets on the front. Again, contrast stitch, really, really nice. And then you've got two zips, which kind of go inside the mesh. I don't know if I would actually put anything in there. Maybe like a card or I could put my phone in there if I wanted to, but this is just a really nice piece, especially for summer as well. Okay, so this is the tactical vest. Um, I probably would wear it with like a lighter colored t-shirt, but I was just wearing this anyway, so I thought I'd just keep it on. Um, it's a really, really nice shape and it feels really nice. I definitely think value for money, this piece is the best. You can wear it with something that looks well. You can wear it over t-shirts, hoodies, you can wear it like layered under stuff as well. It's a really nice detail. I love the zips here. And yeah, this whole thing, it goes inside this whole bit. So you could like put stuff in there. Like anything you want. And I love the fact that it matches the cargo trousers too, because then you can wear them as a set. And who doesn't love a set? So yeah, I was very impressed with all the pieces that I did manage to get, except for the clay denim, which I will be selling um, on my e-bloggers because um, yeah, they just literally don't suit me and don't fit me whatsoever. My freaking thighs are too big. I, I was hit with quite a large customs Bill, which was quite annoying, but anytime I order anything from the US or anything from Korea, I still I always get customs. So whenever you're ordering something from a different country, you're always gonna get customs. I did want to get the safety pin bomber jacket, but the fact that it had the branding of bare knuckles on the back, it's hard to bring out a brand these days and not put your logo all over it because otherwise, like how would people know that it's from that brand? But I really wish that on this bomber jacket they hadn't written bare knuckles on the back because I would have been more likely to purchase it. And I do really love the striped denim as well. Um, but again, it wasn't something that I was on the top of my list to spend that much money on. And obviously the cropped cashmere wool sweater was something that I was desperate to have. And it literally sold out in seconds. Um, so I was quite annoyed about that. If anyone has one in a large, hit me up because I'll buy it. So that was my bare knuckles review. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna keep an eye out for when they next if they do another drop of this stuff, maybe I can crop the wool sweater. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on the brand in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.